During her 89 years of life, Yukiko Namekata has seen a lot. But this is something new. A little dancing robot helping her stretch her arms. It's just one of a number of ways her care facility in Tokyo is turning to technology to reduce the workload on caregivers. Japan's population is aging. During the next decade, the number of workers aged between 15 and 64 is expected to fall by nearly 10 percent, creating a major shortage of care workers. That's prompting researchers to turn to robots for a solution. Eric is being developed by researchers at Japan's Waseda University. It's an AI-driven robot designed to carry out all kinds of tasks, from changing diapers to preventing bed sores. Its developers say what makes it special is its ability to engage safely with people and adjust in response to their actions. What I have in mind is developing a robot that can do anything by 2050. It will be able to conduct medical operations with doctors in hospital. It will be able to work independently at a nursing care facility or work with human caregivers. We are depicting a society where robots and humans coexist ultimately. Back at Yukiko's care home, its manager says the labor shortage will likely only get worse. And it's just a matter of time before robots become commonplace. As long as proper assessments are made to ensure safety, there would be no reason not to use them. If such a robot really became possible, people might be reluctant at first, but eventually the time will come when we have to use it. As for his current staff, they're cautiously optimistic. They say they wouldn't mind having an extra robot hand to help with the workload. But they worry there's a certain warmth and understanding that is uniquely human and necessary and may be especially difficult for these robots to replicate, no matter how helpful they're trained to be. Alexandra Byers, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.